Good day to you my friends, my name is Donato and welcome to today's video where I'll be showing you where you can be in a major city like London and you're only a stone's throw from great parks, canals and rivers to enjoy the running that we all love. Yeah, let's go. Yes guys, oh yes, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we are, you might, for those of you who remember London 2012 Olympics, this is the uh, Olympic pool. Behind me is uh, Stratford Shopping Centre and in front of me, oh yes, this was the 2012 Olympic Stadium, which is now the home of West Ham Football Club. So yes, what I'm going to show you, just a little hop, skip and a jump from here. In London, you can get to, and it's beautiful here, and I have done some uh, 5k races around, 10k races here at the Olympic Park, and it's good fun. But uh, I'm going to show you where you can get to even more greener, fresher, beautiful places to enjoy parts of cities here, parts of London, that a lot of people aren't aware of so let's go Stadium store if you want your West Ham memorabilia, so down some steps. And I'm gonna head over to uh, a little cycleway path called the Greenway, which is just behind there, and then head to Victoria Park. Yes, Victoria Park. That's in Queen Victoria. I don't know if it's named after Queen Victoria, but it's called Victoria Park. Yeah, as I was saying about rivers, waterways. This is the River Lee, Lee Valley. So I'm now coming on to uh, that pathway that I mentioned is called the Greenway. Yeah, there's the stadium over to my right, path here on the left. And uh, would you believe? There's a cafe here, I'll just take you. I'm going the other way, but I'll just show you this. So it's up close. There's a cafe here. It's called ViewTube. Oh yes. But obviously right now, you're on YouTube. So right behind me, and ahead of me, this is the Greenway. Um, I don't think they've completed the whole route, but it seemed to link. It's going to be linking various parts of uh, London cycleways because there's a whole network of cycleways pathways oh look at this beautiful cycleways pathways connecting you around different parts of london without having to go on the major roads and there's the stadium on that side Ooh, I think uh, I was a little out of breath there. I've got to remind myself, sometimes I get into, uh, when well, i got this camera, it's normally when I'm on a race. So you get into race mode, so I'm running quite fast, so I've got to remind myself that this is a slow, easy run. And uh, I shall be able to converse with you. <laughs> so uh, I try not to be as out of breath when giving you commentary. Enjoying this? I am. Thumbs up. I've just come off Greenway and there's a little bit of road before I get to Victoria Park. But I just passed the building that said Percy Dalton's Peanuts. 
Oops. <laughs> I don't know whether it's still in operation. But, uh, yeah, let's wait to cross the road. So, similar to when I was in LA to get to uh, one of the um, cycle paths, river valleys, I have to go through various tunnels, passing expressways and stuff. So, these greener, lush areas, places with water, are often close to these places. So, you've just got to look it up to find them. They're everywhere. So, having turned off that road, I'm now arriving Victoria Park, yes. So here I am now in Victoria Park and as it says there, obviously the cyclists use it, that the uh, pedestrians have priority. So let me tell you a bit about Victoria Park, yeah? So what can I tell you about Victoria Park? Well, in terms of its location, East London. If you're thinking of tube maps, nearest tube stations, I think Stepney Green, I think, or is it Bethnal? Um, you've got Bow, which is uh, just behind me there. But in terms of the size of this park, and how many parks you have in London, this is probably one of hundreds, if not thousands of parks in and around London. And as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful here, lots of runners come here because you've got this amazing road path going all the way. And I think to run around the whole perimeter is about three miles, not exactly three miles, but approximately that. So a nice 5K. So if you're planning on doing a long run, you can just go round and round here. Because let me tell you about some of the other benefits that we have with this park. As well as plus greenery, quietness, traffic free, other runners. What more could they be? So, one of the many benefits at the park is the um, water fountains <laughs> yeah so uh, we need hydration sometimes on our run so what better way than ah. <laughs> let's crack on hmm I always end up with a wet beard in that <laughs> a number of the bigger parks in uh, London as you can imagine a park of this size taking up a big space there is a road that goes through it yeah so be aware you got to go across the road through another gate and then you're back in on the other side nice and easy eh? I have to say guys, I've caught this on one of the quiet times, quiet days, whatever, but uh, I was out here, um, when was it? November, December time on a Sunday, doing a long run, and there was hundreds of runners going in all different directions. It is a vast, vast park, but uh, so beautiful and serene here. So, one of 
of benefits of this as well here is uh, in terms of how it's connected. I do love my canals. Yeah, and right here. <laughs> oh yes. Right here. We have canal. Now this is Regent's Canal. Um, Victoria Park. <laughs> So yes, there's a sign saying, Victoria Park, welcome to Tower Hamlets, because for a lot of people, they've come on this canal. Just to give you an idea of where this canal connects you, in that direction, heads over to West London. There is a section where I think there's a tunnel and then you have to go on the road to reconnect back with the uh, canal. But if you go that way, you end up towards Paddington Basin, which connects with the Grand Union Canal. And for those who've been religiously watching my videos, everyone will know that I cycled on the Grand Union Canal from Birmingham to Stratford-upon-Avon. So yeah, from there, Paddington Basin, you could get all the way to Birmingham. Running that way, if you're that way inclined. This way takes you to an area in London called Limehouse and onto the River Thames. Yeah, the River Thames. And down there you've got the uh, Thames River Path. So if you go in one direction, you end up at the Thames Barrier. If you go in the other direction, again, if you're that way inclined, you can run along the Thames River Path through London, all the way through central London. And it takes you, my understanding, all the way to the source of the River Thames, which is in Gloucestershire in England. So there you go, a little bit of history. So uh, let's take you a little bit on this uh, canal so you can get a bit of a feel of it. And then back into Victoria Park, yeah? Let's go. Oh yes. What better way to spend the day than messing about by the river or canal. <laughs> As I said, Regent's Canal. So I'll come off the uh, Regent Canal here and back into Victoria Park. Oh, look at that. Lots of beautiful canal stretch. And other runners as well. And we're coming back into Victoria Park where I'll show you one of the lovely water features here of the park. As I was saying, one of the great water features here, there is a pagoda on the side here, a little big pond, mini lake, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, birds. So there is a pagoda, pagoda there, and we're going to head over to a nice water feature there. So here you have it, guys. Here's the main water area, lake, pond, pond, I call it a big pond. Pavilion, cafe, yeah, toilets, everything you need when you're out on a run. And on Sundays, I think they have uh, market days here as well. So here, 
is the pavilion. It says open daily 8 a.m. till they blanked out and when it closes. Here's the pavilion and here's pavilion toilets. Let's take this around here. Ooh. So you can have a nice cuppa looking out across the pond. Nice little pavilion. Yeah. So I'm standing right here, the exhaust, I can smell the lovely food oh, that they're cooking. Oof, oof, oof. Let's go out to this uh, water pond. There you go, guys. Well, go in there, Let's you know. crack on. More water. It says here push on, pull off. Hey, follow, follow the instructions, yeah? Follow the instructions. Well, let's back, get back on the road. Oh, park. Oh, once again, wet beard. So yeah, just cross back over the road, back into the other side of the park, and let's head over back to Olympic Park. Yeah. So for me today, it's just one loop and out of the park. Yeah, that's the way out. Just down here, there's a, an interesting uh, pizza place, yeah, with the name of. <laughs> Maybe for some of you it's not a surprise, yeah? The Italian Job, which is named after that famous um, movie, The Italian Job, where uh, oh, Kane. Here we are. There you go, Italian Job, pizza. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Yes, so craft beers and pizza had there. There is a little road here to another canal, if you wanted to join on the canal there. Different canal take you up to uh, the uh, River Lee. I'm heading back to Olympic Park. That way, yeah. the orbital. I don't know whether you can actually go up there. Still, is it open? Is there a cafe there? Should we go and have a look? Yeah, let's go and have a look. Explore the view. Ride the slide. Oof, oof. Let's go and have a look. So this is it's called the Arcelor Middle Orbit. Wow. Well, slide the ride. Let's have a look. There you go. You can have a hair-raising experience ride the slide. 
so it's open Monday to Friday, 11 till 3, weekends 10 till 6, and the costs, oh, holy caramba, right, £12.50, adult, wow, yeah, slide for 17, 18 quid, well, I think today, as I'm on my run, I'll give that one a miss. <laughs> Remember, you need to save up, you need those big budgets. Can't beat an honest sausage, can you? What's well, making me feel hungry now? So there you have it, guys. I'm back to where I started. Yes, Olympic Stadium, water, swimming pool, Stratford shopping centre that way. Yes, hopefully you've enjoyed this, guys. My little mini tour, just to show that you can be the in the heart of a major city and find such beautiful greenery rivers canals to get along and enjoy your runs as i've done in other major cities both in the uk manchester birmingham leeds the yorkshire area i've done so many canals along there but also overseas you may have seen one of my very first videos if you go all the way to the very end back of my first videos it was a run in Stockholm yeah where I found uh, a trail there but also in Rome and LA Los Angeles yeah Los Angeles I found a, a river trail there to run along fantastic so hopefully you've enjoyed this get out there enjoy your runs and stay safe be seeing you oh, do I need some new gloves oh man yes Frankfurt Marathon that was a few years ago